Now, farming has been taking place in the southeast for thousands of years and ploughing has long been the only way to sow seeds. But on this farm, they're doing something different, as Rachel Royce reports. We plough the fields and scatter. At least that's the traditional way we farm in this country. A tractor pulling a plough to make the soil ready for planting the next season's crop. Here at Stanhill Farm near Dartford, the plough slices through the earth, then turns it upside down, aerating the soil and burying any unwanted plants. The plough has been used in farming for thousands of years. But there are some farmers in the southeast who wouldn't dream of ploughing their fields. So what else did they do? Well, they can do this instead. It's called no-till farming. We're going to find out what that is and why some farmers swear by it. Andrew Lingham's family have been farming at Ramscombe Farm on the North Downs for 150 years. He abandoned ploughing 10 years ago. Andrew, we're not ploughing, are we? What are we doing? We're no-till drilling, so we're actually get, putting the seed into the soil with minimal disturbance. And why is that better than ploughing? It's minimal loss of moisture. It's minimal disturbance of the soil, which isn't upsetting the worms. So in your view, no-till farming is better than ploughing? Undoubtedly, yes. For the casual observer, this looks much like a tractor pulling a plough across a field, but it's not. No-till drilling is different to ploughing. Andrew explained to me how no-till farming puts the seed into the ground with minimal disturbance to the soil, unlike ploughing, which churns it up. The seed is distributed down um, each of 32 pipes, these pipes here, and is deposited in the ground, and then this wheel here just firms up the trench behind. So that sort of sharp looking, almost like a blade, just sort of, that's the only thing that's going in the that, That's literally it, it is a blade. And it's cutting a, um, it's just cutting a small trench, no more than about half an inch wide. And the seed is dropping down behind that point into the ground. So almost like a sewing machine sewing the seed into the ground. Exactly. Andrew is an enthusiastic convert to no-till farming. He went on a fact-finding trip to America where he learnt that one of the benefits may be to help reduce carbon in the atmosphere by keeping some of it locked into the soil as organic matter. Oh, it's just quite mind-blowing to be honest. There was one fact that we, we heard which is, is, is mind-blowing on its own and that was that um, if all the uh, uh, cropland farmers in the US were to increase their soil organic matter by 1%, that would be enough to sequestrate all the carbon uh, that's been released into the atmosphere since the Industrial Revolution. Andrew's mind-blowing fact has been looked at by scientists. Professor Polson is a soil scientist at Rothamsted, a leading agricultural research centre. He says ploughing can release more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere than no-till. No-till does tend to uh, lead to a, an accum some accumulation of organic matter in soil. Now, organic matter is 50% carbon, so that means you are locking up some extra carbon in the soil that you wouldn't have locked up otherwise. So that's beneficial for climate change because it means that some of the carbon that would have been in the CO2 in the atmosphere is now uh, it's like locked in organic matter in the soil. No-till farming has really caught on in America, but it's still relatively rare here. So why is that? In America, around a third of farms are no-till. They have large farms and no-till saves costs as a farmer only has to pass over the land once. But that's not always suitable for UK farms. Toby Williams, who farms at Stanhill Farm, is Kent County Chairman for the National Farmers' Union. He says only a small minority of his members have switched to no-till. He specialises in growing vegetables on his farm and he's sticking with traditional ploughing for several reasons. To bury the residue of the previous vegetable crop 
um, to, to stop any carrier carryover of diseases and weeds and things like that. So, so we're, we're doing it to, to, for, for, for crop cleanliness. In no-till, you're, you're, not, you're not actually moving the, the soil at all. Probably you'll find some people that use a mixture of the two. So, so for plough-based plough and, and minimal cultivations. Professor Polson says that while there are some disadvantages to no-till, there are many advantages. Zero tillage sort of came along after weed killers were invented, really, because you could now control weeds without having to, to bury the seeds. And, um, and it saves time and labour for farmers, and it's got some, quite a lot of benefits for the soil as well. When you plough the soil and open it up, water evaporates from the soil, whereas if you keep it not cultivated, especially if you've got some straw on the surface, that sort of tends to retain the water. So in dry climates, it's actually quite beneficial. And also, no-till soils tend to erode less, so erosion of soil, soil washing off a field onto roads, into rivers, into people's gardens or houses, um, that's obviously bad news, and it looks like no-till helps with, with that. Back at Ranscombe, it's been just two weeks since I was with Andrew when he drilled the seeds into the ground. Today, he's invited along Steve Townsend to see the results. Indeed, let's go and see what the soil can tell us. Steve is the founder of a group called Biodiversity Agricultural Soil and Environment Farmers, or BASE, and they promote no-till farming. Most important tool on the farm to have a spade because more often than not, the roots, or rather the top, is an expression of how well the roots are doing. Some farmers are put off no-till because they fear it will leave hard clumps in the soil. But the test to do is to just crush it in your hand and that crushes very easily. This is in good heart, good structure, and then it's got a lovely, healthy smell to it. For farmers, that would be like an old potato store. To us, it'd be a bit like compost, okay? That's telling you things are functioning on a dry day like today, which is, which is brilliant. One thing that no-till is very good for is worms. Ploughing can kill them. There's yeah. an actual worm there, isn't yeah. there? A baby one, so that one's probably only two, two or three months old and they will bore holes through, through the soil, which will help the aeration and the drainage, which is what a lot of conventional farmers have used the plough for in the past. There have been some great claims made for no-till that it could help save the planet and reverse climate change. What, what do you think about that? In terms of saving the planet, it is probably locking up a small amount of extra carbon, so it helps, but to, um, to claim that no-till will, will counteract climate change, that's, the evidence is not there to, to make that claim. No-till farming is still in its early days in the UK. But for Andrew, it's the answer to his farming needs. He hopes to carry on and in future reap the benefits.